Um, we have Jeremiah here. We How do. you doing? I'm Jamie. Hi, Jamie. This is Nick. Nick. Hi, Nick. Nice to meet Pleasure. you guys. And you're from Mac Keeper. Yes, that's correct. All right. So tell us, what's, what, do, what, what is Mac Keeper and what are, you, what are you talking about? Sure. Mac Keeper is a combination of a support service and a software. And we, you know, our tagline is human inside. And the reason we call it that is because there's live human support integrated with the software. Software, as you know, is a mindless algorithm. It can't think. Um, it can only do what it's programmed to do. So, for example, if you were scanning, uh, looking for performance issues, anything like that, only a human could look at that and identify what you actually want and what you don't want. So, that gives you an idea of uh, the support side of it. For the software side of it, it is for cleaning, security, optimization. Uh, media loves that we have an anti-theft. So, we can actually track down your Mac. It'll take a picture of the person using it generate an IP location report. So we have some really awesome crime and, uh, you know, crime stories of, of busting got the bad guys, which uh, that's what it does. This is our first year at CES. Um, we've always done Macworld and, and some other Mac-related things, but the reception's awesome. You know, so many people are using Mac. You know, I, I was really blown away. I mean, I would say 80, 90% of the people we talked to are like, yeah, I use Mac. I, I know who you are. That's cool. So it's great. The, the event is awesome. It's really awesome. It's really been good for you then. Yeah, it's, it's excellent, really great. Excellent. Um, what, what is it, um, you know, if it's a Mac user myself, and I guess I'll take this one because it's, I'm the Mac Turning user Turning it over to you. Right. Um, uh, what, what, what advantage does it offer? So I've got a 17-inch MacBook Pro that is my workhorse machine for, for everything I do. It travels with me. goes everywhere. What benefit do I have to have MacKeeper software on my device? Sure. There are different tools for every level of tech experience. So for example, if you are someone who's older, not really tech savvy, or a crossover from PC, there's a lot of really user-friendly functions that can help you manage. You know, because if you're not really technical and you, you want to find duplicates, for example, we have a duplicate files finder. Um, there's data encryption, you know, for the more advanced mm -hmm. users. And we've even heard in the past that there's some law enforcement agencies that use our software to wipe out disks. Okay. You know, so that's that's kind of cool. You know, almost every time we go somewhere, we hear of a new way that someone's, someone's using, using what you what you're putting out there. Yeah, which which kind of gives you know, it kind of sounds like it's like kind of a Swiss Army knife of tools for your Mac to to run in the background and and um, take care of the the things behind the scenes. Yes, and that's a very good way to put it. And a lot of times we run into the issue of people going, "Ah, you're just a cleaner." Or, ah, uh, you just have antivirus, which we do have an antivirus. And, you know, there's a big debate in the Mac community that Macs don't get viruses. I was going to ask yes. that question. I've heard this multiple times before. And, 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 you know, it's on the fence. And even, you know, coming from MacKeeper, I'm the one thing I will say is that you can transfer a Windows virus to a colleague or something like that. So any level of protection and data management, that, that due diligence. The more of that you can do, the better off and, you and are. And in the integrated workforces and workplaces that are out there today where you have people that are working um, either, either within the same company or within multiple companies working together, where one is a Mac company and one is a Windows company, you're absolutely right. You have to be able to scan your your. Um, your attachments and things like that so that you're not transferring a problem onto one of your colleagues or, or your partners. The real value, I would say, with the new Mac Keeper, what we have now, the real value is that human service. And it's 24 hours being able to talk to a real human because many of the support mechanisms that we have are either really expensive, they require driving somewhere, they require you know, it, it takes a lot of your time. And if at three in the morning your printer is not working, you're missing a driver, uh, we can help with nearly everything but hardware issues. And, you know, with the remote support, uh, we, there's not much that you can't do. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about remote support, if I may. Uh, sure. So three o'clock in the morning, I got a Mac. You know, I, I have one, by the way. I know. I, I, know I use it for software <laughs> testing. Um, so I have my Mac. It's running. Uh, something goes wrong. It can't button something I don't know at 3 a.m. who am I speaking to when I when I pick up this this service in in sure call in uh, we we don't use uh, a third-party company we train all of our own people we have our own warehouse and each one of our guys that's one of the requirements is they get the legitimate Apple certification which I have read all 800 pages and it is crazy I, <laughs> I bet. mean it's it's really difficult you know so these are guys that really are professionals they're you know, we try to get the best of the best who can really help. And, you know, if they can't 
uh, discover the issue on the first round, then we take it up a level and we get some of our you know engineers to actually look at the problem, uh, go through system files or you know uh, scan that system data and try to identify where the problem is. And that's another really cool feature that we have also is we can run that scan, have a real human look at it, identify what's going on, and save customers a ton of time and a ton of money. Our price point is really cheap. But I mean, what is that price point? Um, it is about seven bucks a month. Really? Yeah. So it's incredibly cheap. I mean, and you get the live support and all built in as part of that along with all the software yes. functionality. Yeah. And, and how we came up with that was we have a massive number of users. We're localized in 19 different languages. And, you know, so having that infrastructure to already support that many customers, we realize that as more competitors try to get in that market, you know, we are known as the first, you know, the, the innovators of it. So right. as more customers try to get in, or c competitors try to get in that market, we realize that our real value was our people, you know, and having the human to human contact that many companies lack, or they kick you out to some outsourcing, you know, warehouse where you just, you, you leave more frustrated right. than when you came. So, so I guess the follow-up question, you, you mentioned people, uh, maybe, the, maybe the grandfather who just needs a computer to get going. Let's say they have a G4. Let's say they have an older computer. Their computer is just the same. How resource-intensive is your service? Uh, resource-intensive, it runs quietly in the background. You know, some of the tools, like if you, were to, um, if you were to run three or four of the tools, the scanning tools at once, it could affect your system. It could have just a, but a little slowdown, but we try... To, to, to really test to the edge. And then, you know, if, if anything is resource intensive, then we go back to the drawing board and, and make sure that, that, um, that that's taken care of. We offer um, a free app that's on the Apple Store uh, called Memory Keeper. And that's, uh, you know, a free one that'll automatically wipe out your memory and reallocate those resources. Cool, excellent. Um, it's available now? Yes. Seven dollars a month? Yes. And where can people find out about it? MacKeeper.com. MacKeeper.com. Well, I want to thank you, Jeremiah. Thank Appreciate you guys. it coming thank on. You. And, and I Pleasure. think this is a great tool for that that maybe that failed, like you said, older family member. You're 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 getting a new Mac, you give your old Mac to um, that's what I do. I give things <laughs> to my mom. Um, she, she you know, she needs email and web browsing, so she doesn't need the latest greatest, but she needs a nice computer. So uh, you know, maybe maybe you take over for me and my son because <laughs> my mom calls and I usually pass <laughs> off to my son and yeah. say, my 21-year-old, here, help my mom figure out how why her printer's not working. Now, maybe I take care of getting her a subscription to MacKeeper, and you guys help her walk through that process. We hear that all weekend. You know, some of the guys who are techies, even myself, I end up all the time with the mom, with the aunt. <laughs> um, so it's a very user-friendly way for people who are not tech savvy. That's what MacKeeper is. Great. It's the all-in-one tool for cleaning, security, optimization, and support. Thank Great. you guys, and Thanks, enjoy Jay, the rest right. of the Appreciate show. Yeah, have safe travels home. Thank you, sir. Yep.